Welcome back to the channel. The last time we were here, we took the uh, backhoe off of this TYM uh, T264, and today we're gonna take the loader off. You guys come along for the ride. The first thing we're gonna do is raise the bucket all the way to the top, and then we're gonna set the landing legs out, and uh, we'll go from there. I don't, I'll be careful and tell you, I'm gonna stay off to the side just in case something was to go wrong. The odds of that happening is more likely I'll get hit by a car on the way home, but still, there's no sense in uh, risking anything. So we're gonna put the legs out. All right, the legs are out. Make sure those are down good. And now we'll take it off. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna lower this down. And all we want to do is make sure there's no tension on these bottom pins. And when I lowered the weight down, it did. It did just that. So then what we're going to do is remove these big pins. Just set them here on the floorboard. We'll do the other side just the same way. All right. Next thing we're going to do here is take this big pin off, set it out of the way. All right. Now that we got the legs down, we're going to go ahead and set this thing down to the back legs touch. And then you want to probably just rotate the front where it's touching a little bit and then rotate it back. And as you're doing that, you're gonna kind of bump the forward and backwards a little bit. And then it'll just fall off just like that. Back away just a few inches. And there you go. Put your parking brake on, turn it off. Now the next thing you're gonna do is release all the pressure from your back or your loader by moving your, your joystick around and around. That way you can remove the hydraulic lines. Let's do that now. All right, the hydraulic lines are color coded. It's really easy to do. There again, they've got the little connectors here. Plug them up. All right, once we got our lines loose, all you're gonna do is take this and wrap your hoses around this arm. And then you're gonna take each one of the lines and just Put them in behind so it's kind of like a knot. I would probably zip tie these, have a zip tie or a, like a Velcro strap, just something to keep it out of the way. And then now your uh, your loader is disconnected from uh, your tractor. Now the loader is disconnected from the tractor, we can back the tractor away. You just pull straight out, making sure you don't hit any of your lines as you come out. All right, now we're gonna put the loader back on the T264 and let's show you how that's done. All right, so as we go forward, we just gotta make sure that we line this up and that we are not uh, gonna hit any of these hoses. All right, so we're gonna get close enough that we can put our hoses on. So that should be good about right there. All right, now we're gonna put the hoses on. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna release the pressure because you just run the tractor again, make sure there's no pressure. And then we'll just start with the green one first. Just that simple. Uh, there's the red. Here's the yellow. And then the white. And now we're hooked up. So make sure your hoses are out of the way and they're not gonna get pinched as you back the tractor up or pull, pull the tractor back into the cradle. All right, now that we've got the hoses hooked back up, we're just gonna ease forward into the cradle. Keep an eye on all of your lines. Make sure you're not gonna pinch anything. Pretty simple, all right? Tilt your bucket back, set it in the cradle. After it's set in the cradle, pull it back the other way, raise it up. Now it's setting in the cradle and you can slide your pin in. I'm gonna see if I can do it from here. Look at there. Don't even have to get off the tractor to put those pins in. So once you learn to do this two or three times, it's gonna be really easy. All right, now that we've got the uh, uh, pins in, we'll just raise this thing up 
and put the uh, legs back up in the stowed position. Now we got the uh, loader put back on, ready to go back to work with it. Hey, I'd like to take this time to thank you for watching our channel. If you like what we do, hit that thumbs up. And if you really like what we do, hit the subscribe button and the little bell. It really uh, uh, helps us out when you hit the bell and it also lets you know when something new comes out. God bless and have a great day. We'd like to thank Ted at Paris Power Sports for allowing us to use their tractor for this demonstration. Paris Power Sports in Paris, Tennessee is a full service TYM dealer.